So this is a video to help people focus. When we're undergoing a lot of stress or we have a strong symptom like tinnitus or aches and pains in the body, it's very hard to focus on how we're feeling inside sometimes. And for many people, just sitting and being with themselves is challenging. A lot of people are very driven and find sitting still quite difficult and want to rush off and do other things or they're worrying about people or meetings or things going on in their life so to actually just hang out and be with the self is challenging and some of the focusing techniques like the clenching and relaxing technique people really struggle with because they can't stay in that sustained attention inside the body the mind keeps on bouncing all over the place so this is a a stronger way of bringing the attention into the body which can enable you to just stay with the felt sense the feelings inside the body and it's very good for bringing you into a body state of mind from which you can then focus much more detailedly so to start off with I'd like you to just take your feet and give them a really good massage um, when you when you actually do this um, it's it's really just about c connecting and stimulating every little part of the foot so do make sure that you work your way all the way up and down the foot so you can rub underneath you can use your thumbs to really squeeze in and just go along every toe feeling all the different joints in each toe and the heel of the foot it is really it's really good to squeeze that and to push all around in this direction and sideways in just basically stimulating as much of the foot as possible and of course changing over to the other foot for the purposes of this video I'm going to go a little bit faster than you probably would by yourself but this is a, a good way of, of really feeling into the body <clears throat> and really it just gives you an activity that can keep you focused on yourself <clears throat> and focused on how the body feels so now I've done that with my feet sitting here I've just put my feet on the ground and I can feel a slight tingling in my toes and I can feel a slight expansion a sort of expansive sense of circulation there's a sense of flow in my feet if you're very stressed and your Twitter is taking over you can clench and relax your feet or wriggle your toes just to state the obvious and then once you've done that you just relax and then just notice if your feet stay with you if you have a sensation of your feet or do they disappear again if you're very stressed it's quite likely that they'll just be numb and you won't be able to feel them and I encourage you to use your best therapists in the world which are your hands <laughs> you know this really you know limbering up your hands looking after your hands and using your hands to really stimulate parts of the body it's one of the best ways of staying with your body's experience instead of going into mental Twitter mode you stay with the feeling after the feet the calf muscles are very easy to relax and to get in touch with so just generally rubbing down the shin bones and squeezing the calf muscles and in particular the back side of the calf muscles just pushing up it's slightly 
painful that, but it's a kind of like a delicious pain. <clears throat> and also patting. It's very easy to pat your calf muscles and the shin bone. Um, you can feel the wobbliness of the, the muscle itself. And you can also, as you sort of bash the knee and, and the shin bones with your hand, you can feel the, the bone structures kind of vibrating all the way up to your hip and down to your feet. I'm just banging my knees now and I can feel the, the bones in the upper leg and all the way down to the bones of the ankle and the feet. So, you know, this is such an obvious thing to do, but most people don't do this. <laughs> and just taking the time to massage, pat, you can even shake. And now, having done that, my lower left leg feels incredibly alive. I'm very aware of it. It's got a lovely sort of energy or tingly quality. It's really vibrant now. And I don't have to make an effort to feel it. It's just in my awareness. So you can do exactly the same thing with the other leg. I mean, I go straight to this leg and I can feel that it's slightly more bunched up and tight. And so there's a massaging. The outside of this muscle is much tenser. So you'll find when you get to tense parts of the body, just giving it a bit of TLC and doing what feels right. So massaging, rubbing, then can really feel the, the bony connection all the way up to my hip and down to my feet. And that's starting to free up a little bit. And every day it'll feel different. Every time you'll do this, there will be different areas of the tent. And you may have some particularly stubborn bits of tension that take weeks to shift, but that's normal. But gently, with this kind of TLC approach, and really becoming aware, it does change. <clears throat> and then with your upper legs, once again, just, just giving them a really clear massage. If, if you rub, I'm using my knuckles down the outside here, it feels really nice. It's like um, I get a tingly, pleasurable tingly sensation going all the way down and then the upper legs up here at the top and then the inside thigh it's so enjoyable this and then just giving your legs a, a wobble like this I can feel all the muscles in the upper and lower legs really clearly <coughs> oh. <laughs> And um, sitting now, it's really interesting because it's like my upper legs feel much bigger. You're not going mad when the, the shapes and feelings of the body change a lot. It's, when you do body-based focusing and massages like this, very often the way the body feels inside changes a lot. So right now, for example, my upper right leg feels really big and expansive. It feels bigger and longer than my left leg. The left leg still feels a bit smaller, <clears throat> but I'm really in touch with my legs. And now, sitting on the chair, the buttock muscles, a really nice way of dealing with this is just to clench and relax your buttocks. It's very easy to do this. <laughs> it looks like I'm going up and down. If you really hold your buttocks tight and then just let go, Oh, <laughs> um, it's amazing. The um, just something like that can be very relaxing, and you bring an aliveness into the body. Where your attention goes, the energy goes, the awareness goes. This is hugely important to understand. So, by deliberately focusing in this way, it's like all the scatteredness of you, all the 
energies and focuses that are out there can come back in and re-inhabit your body space. If you're sensitive, this is literally true. So <clears throat> after the buttocks, it's quite useful to just get a sense of your lower spine. And if you just wiggle your hips in a chair, I can immediately feel that there's a central axis in my lower back. And I can feel that all the legs and now my hips and the whole pelvic base just really coming into my awareness. And having done that, it's like a really lovely sort of inner floating quality for me just now, but you will feel probably lots of different things. And, um, you know, just a quick bit of common sense with any of these approaches to the body, always stay within what feels comfortable. Never do something that's painful or overextends the body. It's, your body's giving you really important feedback and it's always good to stay within what feels manageable and comfortable. The belly area, you know, we live in a culture where if you have any upset digestion, you have to go and take pills or medicine to, to make an upset nervous system digestion more comfortable. And I'm sure if you've got heartburn, there's certain things you can take which really help. But don't forget that massage will immediately increase the, the suppleness and the slipperiness of the guts. Um, all the fluids will lubricate the guts and actually cause the, the tube of the, the digestive tract to free up. And if you go in a clockwise direction, so up the right hand side, across the top and down the left hand side, and you go round and round like this, you're following, generally the following the direction of food down the large intestine. And if, if you just do this for a minute or two, it can really relax the whole abdominal cavity. And if you come across any lumps or any parts of your tents, just gently massage into them. And quite often that's enough to free up. Of course, if you come across a lump that's there and doesn't change for, for weeks, then just go straight to your doctor and have it checked out. And the breath also affects this area. So some of the yogic breathing can be very helpful, but just very briefly, if you, if you breathe out through the mouth, just like a 10 short breaths like that, you can really feel the diaphragm pushing up and then relaxing down. So you feel, and really, allow the bounciness of the body to let you feel the diaphragm. So just doing a few <laughs> breaths like that, not too many, it was just enough to bring your awareness into the diaphragm and you can really feel your belly going in and out. For the chest area, I really recommend just a bit of patting. Um, you know, just, just patting across the upper chest and shoulders, crossing over to feel that, you immediately start feeling the collarbones and you can feel the, the rib cage, you can feel the muscles holding it all together. And the side of the, the rib cage, <clears throat> once again, I've already got this sense of an expanded, buzzing, more vibrant upper body from that and actually my breathing feels a bit freer and at the top here of the sternum you've got a breastplate this bit right at the top is quite sensitive to the touch but if you just very very lightly massage it and then with your fingertips if you just massage down the sternum like this it can be a little bit tender in places <coughs> Don't overdo it, but if you just massage the tenderness and then come down, you'll come to the little xiphoid process, the little point at the bottom. Um, 
the, the manubrium at the top and down at the bottom there's a little point if you just massage that gently it's quite tender and then massage all along the lower edge of the rib cage this whole area is a little bit tender um, you'll come down to the floating ribs here so it gets a little bit more vague but generally massaging this way frees up a lot of reflex points in the breathing system and you can get a real sense of oh, like the lungs and the thoracic cavity just expand open I really do feel more spacious now and then the arms very easy to do sweeping movements with the arms and bashing not too hard so sort of patting down the inside and the outside fantastic for you know just really getting involved with the the arms and the shoulders patting caressing just patting my wrist for example my hands feel suddenly really free literally a couple of seconds of this kind of interaction can just release so much tension it's extraordinarily easy when you actually do it and just sort of shaking out the shoulders you sort of just shimmying or shaking the shoulders like that um, it's very these can be quite stiff um, so just movement shrugging your shoulders relaxing and flicking off the tension in in the muscles at the top here and then the neck just a really simple caressing with a bit of pressure down the back of the neck like this so I'm looking off to one the one side and with the other hand I'm just caressing down really feeling the muscles going all the way down the back of the head neck and the side and then the face <clears throat> it's so helpful to massage the face there's so much tension stored in the face and the sinuses and then down the side of the head really if you open your mouth you can really feel the tension and i mean i have masses of tension here you can really feel the jaw muscle as you open it really bunching up and massaging with the fingertips the whole palm and then around the eyes and around the ears <clears throat> and just really using your fingers hands and thumbs to be the best therapist in the world your hands and you know what's best for you <clears throat> and then the scalp it's very nice to just knock the, the top with your knuckles or tap with your fingertips wonderfully releasing and then finally the cranial base at the back of your head just below the lump if you come down the back of your head there's a lump this notch here and if you just with your fingertips just massage along the base of the head from there down to here just with your two fingers just going in not too strongly always staying comfortable with the massaging that area <coughs> and <coughs> and then once you've done that just sit back and feel the effects of it and you'll probably find that you are much more in touch with the body you'll be able to feel the shape of your body much more and you may start to feel this internal sort of movement 
like a gentle float inside the body. I encourage you to really regularly do this. It's very, very simple, but it's a way of just switching out of mental Twitter mode and turning on the body mode. And if you can't focus or you're feeling restless or you're having a lot of problems thinking about things that are worrying you, have, give yourself a break. Just doing this for 20 minutes will completely take your focus off things. It'll bring the energy back into your body and it'll revitalize you. I challenge you not to feel better.